Good morning from Brussels. Brussels is the capital city of Belgium, but also the capital of Europe. The two primary languages here are Flemish and French, and you'll see both plastered on the street signs around the city. This is day two, so if you haven't checked out day one, then I'll link that below. And if you're not completely caught up, this is the final destination on my 4,000 kilometer journey across Europe. First things first, so I'm gonna treat myself to some waffles. Now this is pretty, I think this is Brussels Square. Another guy on a horse. I think this is the one that I want to try. It's not quite as big as they make it out in the, in the images, but hey ho. And I have a nice view of uh, Tintin artwork, let's see. So I went all out on the breakfast through, really. and this is a, a, bit, a bit of a different waffle than I've seen in the past. So, um... it's a lot of topping. I'm getting chocolate all over this camera. <laughs> that was pretty good, but I'll be honest. Like I've I've visited um, Brussels a number of times. So I'm quite numb to it similar to the when i was in london i'm quite numb to the to seeing things and there's not a lot i haven't seen so i'm gonna find a walking tour normally they start at like half past 10 so i've got like a little window here i'm gonna go on a walking tour and see if i can be introduced to something new that was absolutely demolished and it looks like i have i'm booked i'm feeling a bit more alive now which is uh feels good I've got coffee in my system but i remembered Always good to tip the free walking tour, so I'm gonna go get some cash out now. Indirectly passing mannequin piss, but I'll pretend not to see it until later on. On a slightly more serious note, actually, I was told that like theft and crime is quite high in Belgium. So I would strongly recommend kind of hanging on to your things. I've got a strap onto my camera that hangs onto my wrist, so I'm all right there. But just a word to the wise, crime's a bit high. You've seen it a million times before, but wouldn't be a vlog if I didn't show you the Grand Palace and the various different architectures that exist on this square. So here we go. Now, I'm fully aware that every bit of information should be taken with a grain of salt, especially from a free walking tour. There was still some interesting stuff we learned, including the unorthodox development of Brussels from Belgium being a neutral zone, which is agreed and occupied by much of Europe, which then from a commercial perspective developed into a capital city from an island. Square itself, Grand Place, was home to Victor Hugo, which can now be rented out as an Airbnb. And also the penning of the Communist Manifesto by Karl Marx was done in this house. The final interesting thing was the asymmetry of the town hall. Once you notice it, you can't unsee it. We then learn about the crazy history of Tintin from its Nazi propaganda beginnings. Naturally, we saw Monarchan Piss, which is Dutch for Little Pissing Man, and heard the many stories surrounding its history, including the fact that it's actually a replica and the original can be seen in the museum on the square, along with many of its costumes that it's donned over the years. We wrapped up with some fascinating yet dark history of the brutal occupation of the Democratic Republic of Congo, which people still debate to this day. Overall, it was a really good tour and good to learn and appreciate the history of Brussels. By the way, this is Sam. I met her on the walking tour and we're just gonna check out the rest of Brussels together and pick up on a few things that, on the walking tour that we heard about. So, And also figure out what we're gonna do next because we both have no idea. So yeah, we're gonna head to a bar that was recommended to us with loads of Belgian beers. You don't drink beer though, right? So uh, we'll figure that out, even though you're German, yeah. So yeah, we'll figure it out from there and decide what the rest of the day is. And basically this is one of the oldest, it was one of the oldest churches here in Brussels and it was kind of done through different architects and things like this. It kind of drifts off to the left as well. So you used to kind of see it as you walk through the center, it just randomly goes off to the left. Get your honest reaction. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Nothing like camera pressure. It's not that bad. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I th I, did, I thought you might like it. Hey, don't drink it all now. <laughs> go 
gonna go check out the two other pissy statues that are here because there are three. You've got the boy, you've got a girl, and you've got a dog. Is it official? It looks like it. Go look at the doggy piss. While she's there buying a magnet, I was already thinking of going to Maastricht tomorrow, which is in the Netherlands tomorrow, and I get to check that off this whole journey as well as a new country. So I'll have company tomorrow too. I was saying earlier that we decided that Brussels has limited options. That's very easy. Uh, so you may be coming to Maastricht or whatever it's called tomorrow, right? Yeah. And there's the pissy dog. We've just done a photo shoot up against this beautiful backdrop here. Looking wonderful. <laughs> he wants to be in the video, clearly. Um, what do we want to do now? <laughs> Oh, I don't have a plan. Well, I passed this place the other day and I thought the statues were hilarious. So I wanted to come back and actually film some of them. Either he's, that's intentional or it's unintentional. That was a very cool day. I've uh, picked up some supplies for basically trying to navigate the fact that everything is shut on Sunday. I'm gonna walk to a statue I saw earlier that looked really funky, so I'm gonna check that out. And I might pop it to the Apple shop or find a camera shop because I'm super keen to try a new lens. I'll wrap it up there. Really nice day with Sam. Really glad I met someone we could just hang out and uh, discover Brussels together with. So tune in next time where I'll be going to Maastricht. Like, subscribe, all the rest of it, and see you next time. Ciao.